Do you even know what it feels like to be bullied? How they drag your name in dirt into a frame of darkness. How they snatch your dreams from you before you even get a chance to attempt them. Imagine you were in their shoes, stepping out into the world, hoping that one day you'll be accepted into society. But no, there's always something. Your head is too big, your eyes are too small, and your teeth are not perfect, and your clothes aren't named brand. And told that you can't sit here because you don't have the newest Jordans on or made in front of because your hair isn't as long as the other girl. Dear Billy, I want you to know that your words won't affect me no more. That I'm stronger than I was before and I refuse to allow you to see me drop another tear. Just because you're self-conscious and you can't live with yourself doesn't mean you get to take my life. It doesn't mean you get to take her life, his life, or their life. You don't deserve the victims that you already claimed using your artifices making them believe they didn't deserve to live. Jordan Bell, age 15. Tyler Clemente, age 18. Ryan Hilligan, age 13. Jamie Hubley, age 15. And Megan Meyer, age 13. Who thought she had found the love of her life but came home one day to find that her love was nothing but a dream. She watched as her love called her names on MySpace such as Fatty and Slut and being told that the world would be better without her. Megan feeling alone and believing what they had said took her life and hung herself in her closet. All because of what the bully had told her. Alyssa Moore, age 12, Retia Parsons, age 17, Amanda Todd, age 15, who also thought she had found the love of her life, but instead she had found a selfish, ignorant bully, who shared her new pics that went viral because the witness didn't speak up and stop it. Instead, you laughed and allowed the pictures to be seen. Every time you shared a picture, Amanda became closer and closer to suicide until it snatched her, leaving her family in ruins. Why didn't you stop it? Why didn't you speak up for her? Why did you just sit there and laugh being a witness to her suicide?